We're here in the Yosemite National Park Research Library, and I've just pulled out the box of the Yosemite Nature Notes from July of 1922. So these were produced every week for interested visitors and were put in the mail, and really quite a range of interesting observations and uh, studies of people's experiences out in the field in Yosemite. Today, we wouldn't do something so primitive as typewriting a newsletter and then printing it up and then putting it in the snail mail to people, but this in July of 1922, volume one, number one, they didn't realize that this was the start of something that would later become 400 issues. thing about these nature notes is that people could really delve into what was here and special about Yosemite. I think people were much more curious in these years about specifically what does what does the golden mantle ground squirrel do? What, what's his story? Why is he here? What does he eat? It's sort of a mix of science and, and art and poetry. So not everything is just straight information. The cover was always something interesting and attractive with uh, artwork that told a story that drew you to want to come in. And, and there's drama with the coyote flinching from the striped skunk. It was a pretty charismatic publication. It had a lot of style, and it was really of the era. The illustrations, the photographs, even the words themselves really give you a sense of Yosemite at the time. We were still feeding wildlife. It was okay to feed squirrels, to feed deer. The park itself fed bear. The park hunted predators, wanted to get rid of things like mountain lions. Some of the, the changes in how things were done back then to how we visit the park now are really quite startling. It also presents a lot of voices from Yosemite's past. People like Enid Michael, who was one of the first women ranger naturalists in the National Park Service, she wrote more articles for Yosemite Nature Notes than anyone else. And here's a, an article by Dr. Carl W. Sharsmith, who was a wonderful man who was here for over 50 years. And he wrote an article, A Visit with Tabusi. And this is Tabusi here. She's working on her acorns. So Yosemite Nature Notes benefited from the visual gifts of Ansel Adams. He provided numerous cover photos and interior photos for the magazine over the years. So Ansel is acknowledged as a good friend of Yosemite Nature Notes and undoubtedly helped to convey the legitimacy of this periodical. It was another reason for people to want to pay attention to this. This is amazing, uh, the transition from starting in 1922 to the 60s and how the design elements have changed, the typefaces have changed, the way of presenting has changed. So here we're going through Yosemite Nature Notes, now called Yosemite in 1960. And we get this at home every month and we're delighted to receive this and learn about the park. And then suddenly, this is the news we get right on the front cover. It's uh, not to be hidden. So their headline on inside is the final issue. It is with a deep feeling of sadness that we announced the demise of the Yosemite Nature Notes. The original publication ultimately failed because of printing cost. It never made enough money to pay for itself. And that was always one of my motivations to bring it back as a web series. Digital media doesn't cost as much to share. 
So in 2008, we began producing the web video series, Yosemite Nature Notes, about a wide variety of Yosemite topics. To date, there's over 20 episodes online. The most well-known is probably the Frazzle Ice episode. We're on Yosemite Creek below Lower Yosemite Falls. It's a cold, early April morning, and we're watching the Frazzle Ice formation. When I first experienced Frazzle Ice in person, I didn't really understand what I was seeing. And so I wanted to learn as much about it as I could. The best source of information I could find was actually the original Yosemite Nature Notes. There were a couple of issues in the 1950s and 60s that had articles about frazzle ice, and so I was able to learn a lot about the phenomenon and its history in Yosemite. Eventually, this frazzle ice video was seen by someone in every country in the world, and so we learned a lot about the power of new media and the internet for sharing stories from Yosemite but I still value those original publications. I know that myself and scientists and enthusiasts of the park, we all love to look through these old issues of Yosemite Nature Notes. You can find interesting, valuable material in Yosemite Nature Notes. Much of the story of Yosemite National Park is in the pages of this periodical.